Hello beautiful Aries, I hope you enjoyed the speed shuffle. Let's jump in and welcome to all visitors. Thanks so much for stopping by. The overall energy in your spread, in your relationship right now is two different ideas, juggling two thoughts, juggling two ways of doing something, but it does speak to the fact that there has been some sort of repair that is required to the relationship. We can see a few cards here. See the Nine of Swords, the Five of Coins, the Justice card, Finding Balance. But let's look and see what Spirit is advising. Spirit says repairing the veil. Forgiveness is necessary at this time. Also speaks to the fact that meditation, stillness, and personal healing is very much, uh, you both need that for clarity. We have the energy also of me tox, repairing the body, mind, and spirit. So I feel as though both of you have been through probably a rough patch in your life, generally speaking. And given the past year and a half, I would say that's probably for most people. But we do see spirit is really advising that the two of you need to heal something in your relationship and to take time for yourselves, heal yourselves, as well as work on forgiveness. So when we look at the energy here of the recent past, we have the Lover's Card. The Lover's Card is a card that speaks to the fact that the two of you see each other as soulmates. We can see the energy right now between the two of you is locking your heart in a cage, trying to make a logical decision. The way your person sees the two of you going forward is best friends and lovers. They view you as holding back, being very conservative, not quite so, you, they don't think you're feeling very secure in the connection. In their heart space, they are in it to win it. They really want to work at things. They want to make it happen. We also see that they feel a bit defensive. They know that they've caused their own issues in the relationship. The energy between the two of you is feeling uh, a little bit locked away from each other. It's almost as though both of you feel as though the other uh, doesn't really love you at the depth that you would like or, you know, it, it looks as though you have been holding it, each other at arm's length or holding back. Spirit says not to worry, you know, don't lose sleep over this. There is a dove of healing here. And your outcome card is a beautiful magician card saying that you have all the tools to be successful in this love relationship and that the two of you will come to some very good solutions in the near future. So let's look and see what the clarifiers are for these cards. You know, it really speaks to the fact that you have some work to do, but you have a very solid, strong relationship also. So the Two of Coins, why is it here? Why is the Two of Coins here in your mutual energy? Six of Wands, you both want to be victorious. You both want to enjoy each other, a very public relationship. You both want to have a lot of success in your connection. The Seven of Coins, you know, both of you are very dedicated. Uh, you're working on things. We go from the Seven to the Eight here, so we like that kind of progress. And we have the Star card. Look at that. The Star card is healing. It's also hopes and dreams for love coming true. It's about the spirituality of the connection. And it's about believing in yourselves and one another. So it really speaks to the fact that you are both sort of juggling those energies. But those energies are very powerfully positive energies. When we look at the lover's card, we see two soulmates staring into one another's eyes. There's great passion swirling around them. They can't take their eyes off of each other in the recent past. The Six of Swords, another card of healing. You know, when we look at Metox and we look at this energy of forgiveness, it looks as though sometimes lovemaking can really, really help us remember why we feel so connected to another person. So we have also the energy of the um, Sky Father, which is a Hierophant energy. Both of you like to be in charge. Both of you feel as though you're qualified to be the primary leader in the relationship. The Justice card says that that's really good when it works, as long as you keep very balanced between the two of you. But the Two of Coins, um, I think both of you lead at different times, but 
neither one of you are feeling very certain about exactly what's going to happen in this relationship. So a choice has to be made and you're still not certain long term whether this is going to be your number one choice. The Eight of Wands speaks very much to moving forward rapidly. Beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. So when we see the Two of Coins, I'm just going to go back and hit this for a minute. The Two of Coins is, is, you know, being undecided. But we have justice, so it looks like the two of you will make a choice. You are actively choosing one another. But I still think with that Two of Coins, you're not quite sure it's going to work yet. So with the gazelle moving forward very rapidly with a lot of passion, a lot of communication, you know, really being courageous with each other, you know, I think some travel, really going about your day with a focus on one another. We have Spirit of Wands, the King of Wands energy. So that's Leo energy, proud, fiery, passionate. Uh, both of you need that. You both want it. You're both very foxy with each other, though. I think that the two of you can be quite cagey. <laughs> I think sometimes both of you keep uh, secrets, but, you know, it is what it is. So the Spirit of Pentacles. We have the King of Pentacles energy. That is Taurus energy. And so there is a strong drive between the two of you for you to have a very successful relationship, a very... Um, kind of a, a relationship in which there's a lot of financial security, a lot of abundance. Um, the Seven of Cups says that both of you, though, are a little bit scattered in terms of how you think that's going to happen. There's not a lot of clarity here, and especially with the Two of Coins. So I think it's a wait-and-see attitude is what I'm seeing here. Yep, here we go, the High Priestess. So the High Priestess is watching, <laughs> and the two of you, your person feels as though, you know, truth be told, you both really want each other, you know, even though you have a tendency to be quiet, not be maybe as verbal or as verbally loving as you could be, your person feels very confident that you want to transform the relationship and get it back on track. I do feel with all of these cards, a forgiveness card especially, um, you know, your person feels as though they want to put a chapter in the past. Why does your person want this um, chapter of something that happened to be in the past? Yeah, the naked heart. Okay, so there was something that your person feels that they did. There was some element of something that they said to you that was very confusing. And it shows that this person is choosing you, and they did choose you, but they did something that they need your forgiveness for. They said something that was very wounding to you. And I feel as though with this death card, with the Ten of Swords, and the sacred, the Naked Heart, I feel as though they said something that was really almost felt like a mortal wound. You know, like, oh, well, you know, I'm not sure I'm choosing you. Or they've said something that was that never should be said in a relationship is what I'm seeing. So what we have here is the Four of Pentacles energy. They feel that you are holding back. They feel very much that you are, oh, the King of Swords, Aquarius energy. They feel as though you're holding back. And if they were to provoke you, you might lash out at them. Or you might say something very thorny to them. They feel as though you're watching them very carefully and they see that you have the strength to take good care of yourself. You have a lot of pride. You have a lot of dignity and they see that about you, Aries. Your person sees how strong you are and they want you and they realize that you don't really need them. You know, at the end of the day, you don't need them. And you have made that uh, clear to this person that they shouldn't make any assumptions about what it is that you'll want or, you know, what it is that you would really put up with, especially in light of that Ten of Swords, because that was their action that requires forgiveness. We look at how they feel in their heart space, the Eight of Coins. They really do love you. Your person feels as though they've been holding back. They haven't really told you as much. We see here that, you know, they have at times been, I think, very cold to you recently. And we can see it here. The energy between the two of you, this is like a wound, you know. It's, this is not a good set of cards coming from the side of your person. The Four of Wands. Your person would like to marry you. Um, they want the stability. They want the growth in the relationship. 
the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Wands tells me that they don't necessarily think that you're going to choose them, so they're going to hold back. They're not going to step up right now that I can see and make some grand offer or grand gesture. It's almost like they're waiting to see if you fire them, in essence. The Eight of Swords is like self-imposed restriction, but we see a beautiful rose there. So your person's feeling a little bit overwhelmed. They feel as though they have to be careful with what they say because they certainly put their foot in it before. But, you know, we have the Eight of Swords, a Nine of Swords, a Ten of Swords. So at least that, that cycle has completed. So why do we have the Five of Coins here between the two of you? Let's see what we have here, Aries. We have the Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands energy says that, you know, basically that both of you have chosen the other, but now you're wondering if it's going to work. So, you know, at least on the surface, you are definitely the significant other. It's very public. It's well known. People see you as a couple, but it, it also shows that both of you are not sure it's going to be a forever heart of wands we had the king of wands over here so we have divine coupled him both of you are very fiery very passionate you know the heart of wands aries that's you that is you that is the queen of wands very sexy very passionate very much you know interested in um in the chase and the love making in the everything that surrounds love the Seven of Wands, both of you feel very defensive. Again, holding back. We've seen that twice here with the Seven of Wands here. So both of you appear to be holding back as you go through this process of healing with one another. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Look at this, a Fool card. So Spirit is recommending that the two of you have a new beginning. Trust the universe. Take that leap of faith. Spirit is definitely saying the Sun card that there's a very high likelihood that you will not be happier ever with anyone else. The Sun card's the happiest card in the deck. And Spirit is saying that when things are going well, you got the two of you do really great. So, you know, keep it going well. So that's what we have for that energy. We have the Magician card. Why is a Magician card here? Why is this card here? Well, we have the Hanged Man. You're looking at things from a different perspective, trying to see what tools in the toolbox will be used. The Chariot card, this is your outcome. So moving forward very quickly here. But, you know, you're not really speaking to each other very much. When we get the Hanged Man, he looks like he's been punched in the head here. So I do think that that speaks to the some sort of difficulties that have gone on. Both of you are being very careful about the relationship. The chariot card, though, with the magician card, honey, I'm home. You know, the magic. The two of you, really, when things are good, it is a quite a lovely relationship and connection. Three of cups, we saw best friends card here. We have the three of cups here. When we get the ace of coins with the three of cups, we have an engagement set. But we have that three of cups, um, and it's clarifying the magician and the chariot card so it's a lot of rushing to celebrate each other taking the leap of faith but the movement of wands is in and out energy it is player typically we think of that as energy that's not permanent so you know we do get the four of wands is what your person wants here in terms of long-term commitment but right now you're not at the point where you really are thinking that you will necessarily get married you're focused on healing nine of wands you have fire in your belly both of you have fire in your belly to have a successful relationship but two of wands look at you're at a crossroads the two of you are at a crossroads and the four of cups is here so i would say that you're going to need to infuse this relationship with uh, more fun you know really invest a little bit more because right now we just see two people that are a little that feel confused you feel wounded and it it looks like a lot of misunderstandings there's a lot of cards here that indicate that communication is an area the two of you need to work on so let's see what the fairy oracle has to say about this tell us about this relationship for our beautiful Aries friends. We're gonna pull three cards. 
We're going to pull three cards for your person, not you. Okay, Aries? I want to find out more about why this person did something that hurt you so deeply that it requires forgiveness. What did they do? The thief. Okay. So, your person took something from you. It looks like they might have stolen your confidence. This person looks as though they have, you know, undermined your ability to to really feel confident lady of the unicorns they have not really recognized how special you are they do deem you as beautiful as extraordinary but again when we get that thief card it's like they take more than they give i'm sorry aries and i get the queen of the night they see you as a person who is um very sad about things well you know the queen of the night is somebody who has sorrows so they see you as a person who is very special. But again, I think these sorrows have something to do with all this energy, you know. We get the Thief card with the Ten of Swords. So I would say that, you know, your person clearly loves you, Aries. That's not even in question. But I think that, you know, they may not, la they may not really have what you need in terms of relationship i think it remains to be seen you are soulmates you know your person does want to they do want to make things right but i think it's going to be up to you aries as to whether this is going to be a happy long-term commitment for you because your person wants it but it looks like you might be um, a lot more um, undecided than they are. So Aries, I'm going to leave it there. I uh, hope to see you soon in another video. And thank you so much for watching. T sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from and tell me what you think of the reading. Thank you. Bye-bye.